Hey, what's up guys? Second Creep over here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, the energy transfer system from Draconic Evolution. Now, this energy transfer system is semi-complex, but uh, like everything else in Draconic Evolution, it's covered in it's covered in the in-game documentation, aka the information tablet. So let's take a look at that first. Okay, so there are seven different entries for the entire uh, for the entire thing. So the basic block is called the energy relay. The energy relay uh, the energy relay has a uh, has a range of twenty five blocks, and it can connect up to ten devices at once. So the energy relay uh, the default energy relay is made with four draconium ingots, a draconic core, and four diamonds. <clears throat> So in order in order to input and output energy out of the, in and out of the system, you need energy transceivers, which are which are made by connect uh, which are made by one energy relay equals two transceivers. So the energy transceiver uh, the energy transceiver is the block that actually does the importing and exporting to the network. So basically, if you don't have these, you can't use your network. So basically, basically the way you use this, you uh, you take a crystal binder, which is made by taking a blaze rod, a draconic core, two draconium ingots, and a diamond. You uh, you make sure it's set to bind mode, which you can which you can see if you have if you put it over the air or on anything that is not an energy transceiver or an energy relay. So uh, it's in bind mode right now. So you right click you right click on one block, and then you right click on the relay, and then the devices are linked. So this can input energy into the system. Uh, the entire system can hold 50,000. Uh, well, each uh, each part of the system can hold 50,000 RF in a, in a, in little capacitor. It's it's not mu it's not much, but it can hold something. So uh, so the other functions of the crystal binder are that you can unbind stuff by shift right clicking to change the mode. You can uh, it changes to unbind. You right click whatever you want to unbind, then uh, then the relay, and it'll unbind. You can also unbind everything by uh, by clicking unbind all, and everything that's bound to this relay will unbind itself. And then there's and then there's this last mode called uh, there's this last function called mode change. So mode uh, mode change uh, mode change will change what the energy transceiver does. Uh, so uh, so this will uh, so by default the energy transceiver is output. Uh, if you right click it with the mode change, it'll change to input. And that's that's pretty much all here. Advanced energy relays are Obviously, more advanced versions. Uh, advanced energy relays can hold 4.55 million RF, <laughs> and so ca uh, so can the advanced. Well, the advanced energy transceiver can hold 10 million RF at once. So, the advanced energy relay. In order to get it, you're going to need four draconic cores, four of those energy relays, and a wyvern core, and you get four advanced energy relays. The advanced energy transceiver, and to get it, you're going to need to uh, put an advanced energy relay in any crafting grid, and you get two of them. Alrighty, so uh, so uh, so the advanced energy transceiver has the same modes uh, has the same modes as the default energy relay uh, as a default energy transceiver, but it can also do output five times transfer and input five times transfer. So basically, it can uh, basically it can output five times the amount of the energy that is. Uh, that is normally possible, or input five times the amount of energy that's normally possible. So, say for example, uh, say for example, you just uh, say for example, you just got the creative cell in Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. You can use this to get. Uh, you can use this to maximize the amount of energy you get out of it. The wireless energy. Uh, the wireless energy. Um, uh, the wireless transceivers can directly connect okay so let's just go to the okay so the the wireless transceivers are uh the wireless transceivers are able to wirelessly connect to rf accepting devices so basically uh, so basically these transceivers can connect to anything that uh, anything that needs rf so say for example i get a redstone furnace um here we go so we got the redstone furnace let's uh let's bind Let's bind this to this. There we go. So uh, so now these are linked. Now, let's put down a creative energy cell. Okay. So now you should be able to... Hmm? Okay, so uh, there's there's the answer. Um, in order to in order to accept in order to accept uh, I, uh, in order to accept energy into the network, you still need you still need an energy transceiver. Otherwise, uh, otherwise the wireless transceivers can uh, can output to any blocks needed. So let's put energy transceiver here. 
let's, uh, let's change the mode to input and bind this to here. There you go. Now, uh, now this redstone furnace is getting energy. Now, let me just uh, let me just say this is one of the cool. Uh, this is one of the cooler. Uh, this is one of the cooler energy transfer systems because mainly you don't need a lot of cables. So the advanced wireless transceiver is basically the same thing as the wireless energy transceiver. It's just it just has more wireless connections and more and more data and more uh, energy storage. So let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look at it. Oh, I almost forgot. In order to make the wireless energy transceiver, the default one, you're going to need uh, two particle generators, two eyes of ender, and four ender pearls. Particle generators. To make a particle generator, you're going to need four blaze rods, a draconic core, and four blocks of redstone. The draconic core is made with a diamond, two draconic ingots, and two go and or four draconic ingots and four gold. I don't know why I said two. Never mind. Anyway, so like I said, like I said, the advanced uh, the advanced transceiver uh, is able to have more wireless connections at one time than the uh, than the re regular wireless transceiver. To make the advanced wireless transceiver, you are going to need two particle generators, two eyes of ender, four ender pearls, and one of the advanced energy relays. Alrighty, guys, I think that'll do it for this brief look at the. Uh, I think this. I think that'll do it for this brief look at the Draconic Evolution energy transfer system. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to leave a like or subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so very much. Also, if you want to see more tutorials in the future, let me know what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, or message it to me, message it to me on Google+. Don't mention me on Twitter or on Google+, or I might not see it. So that'll be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Later!